My name is Laura. I'm from, I'm the founder of ISSI. Um, ISSI stands for International Space Station Interesting Exercise. Um, and in microgravity, you need two hours of exercise every day to stay safe from bone and muscle loss. Our mission is to make exercise more fun on the ISS and here on Earth too. Last year at the hackathon, we were here. Um, we made augmented reality games to make exercise time fun time. We used the Google Cardboard, Unity, Vuforia, Raspberry Pi, and Makey Makey, but what we really wanted was a HoloLens. <laughs> this year, we have a HoloLens and a space-themed game. ISS has a HoloLens too. And we also have a team in New York and Seattle. Our New York team is... James? Um, James Doyle. Me, Laura Doyle. Howard Robinson. Yaobin. Peijia. And Hyungsil. Our Seattle team is... Our new game is called Earth Magic. Since this year's theme is Earth, and we were thinking about how last year's game we did space, so we also added in, we thought about the astronauts. So, we added in what they missed most, nature. Birds, water, trees, stuff like that. So this year we made a game based around a single mission. Restore Earth after an environmental devastation. But, we have to make it healthy, don't we? So, in order to grow trees and restore rivers and bring back the birds, you have to exercise. The exercises are ones astronauts will always do as part of their routines, like deadlifts, squats, and heel raises. Now for the demo video, if I can get this right. for fighting obesity, for um, 
Although people with physical therapy who also have to do a lot of repetitive exercise and can use fun in their day as well. Um, and someday, Questions? So, how do I get one of those t-shirts? <laughs> uh, this seems really fun. I, I like the idea of it being being multiplayer and everybody's kind of working together to build something. It's like it's like it's like AR Minecraft, you know, but with exercise, which is way better. Um, I, and that's I think that's really really that's really cool. Um, and and I I I thought you were saying that you wanted to. You wanted to map the exercises to what the astronauts are already doing as part of their routine, right? Like, I like the idea of incorporating things like, you know, uh, deadlifts, for example, into into you know what the process of, of like hoisting logs would be, right? So it's like it's almost like yeah. I'm back home, I'm doing physical exercise, but I mean, like in nature, you're more in touch with the earth. Um, I think that's that's really really cool. If you guys can can pair those up really well. Exactly. Um, so yeah, and I, I, of course I love this too, and it made me immediately think of a project that was also developed here at Space Up since MIC a number of years ago called Sentiate. Uh, Leslie Birch, who uh, was here at the conference on Friday, uh, made an olfactory wearable which gave you the smell uh, perception. So you guys would have audio, visual, and smell if you're like in the dirt or you're doing something, you're digging something, or you smell water. Um, it's a good thing of an amazing additional ad dimension to this. Um, on top of that, I think it'd be great to you know, you can do mixed reality with these things as well, right? In terms of, at least you can have some 360 video, right, which would be really immersive, and then have like virtual objects within the 360 video that's actually like building and stuff. I, that would be another great, like, I mean, gosh, on the space station, that would be like utter magic, right? Seeing real trees and then growing a virtual tree and then smelling the dirt. Um, that would be amazing. Yeah, I love the the progress that you've made from last year. It was so great to to meet the team last year and and, and see everything that you've developed with the Hololens. Um, just one thing that occurred to me is when you're doing the exercises and I know it like logs how you're doing. It'd be great if you could also see if you're doing it right. You don't want people to hurt themselves. So if you know somebody does it wrong, you're like, yeah. So yeah, we had to pull a muscle on the space station or something. <laughs> so yeah, but great job. This is. It was really fun, and I like how you tied in the Earth and helping restore the Earth virtually. It was a lot of fun, so great, great job. Yeah, you, you took one of the thoughts right out of my head. It was uh, form. So, uh, you know, does the tree grow faster or taller because you're doing your squats properly as opposed to slumping your chest over or whatever? So I think that's a really cool idea. Um, one thing to explore, and this probably really <laughs> expands uh, the range of VR, but I'd love to see, like, multiple environments. Uh, you know, for me personally, growing up in a, a more rural environment, the city, uh, the, uh, the, the trees and the river and the birds, that's awesome. Uh, but it'd be cool to kind of capture that for people that uh, are more urban oriented. Um, so, you know, helping rebuild buildings in a true sim city fashion, as long as no one has put power lines down. Um, you know, rebuilding a city or, or rebuilding a few different environments. I think you could do a handful of things, uh, a beach scene, a, a forest, an urban environment that I think would really help people connect even more closely with some of those things they miss so uh, but this is awesome I love this uh, I think this has applications in uh, physical therapy which you touched on um, yeah obviously the International Space Station um, I think there's a whole range of applications for this um, just getting me off the couch and going to the gym I think was, was a cool way too so uh, I love it I think you guys are, are on a great track here well, I mean, better I don't have to go right, to the right, gym right. You know, which yeah, is nice because the gym sucks yeah <laughs> Yeah, I, I, that's, that's a good point, because I, I make enough excuses that are involved with the distance between my apartment and my gym, which is literally a half mile. Um, so if you could get me off my couch, give me an excuse to buy uh, VR, and um, give me exercising. I think those are a lot of really great concepts. You guys are on a really cool path, and I'm, I'm really excited to kind of follow this and see where it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Great job. Thank you.